Hey, Brandon, how you doing? Okay, so I've got your prototype up and got your process book. I think I process the process book. I'm going to talk about the process book book first, then we'll look at the, the clickable. I think the process book is coming along nicely. Really good job following a grid here. This is really super consistent. It's designed beautifully. Um, I think it's really, you've done a fantastic job so far on the visual attributes of your uh of your process book. Now, what I want to do, I, what I do want to say about the process book is this, um, I, you know, I'm not going to go through it right now. I will go through it in grading um, and I, I'll, I'll talk about if there are any missing elements. But what I want you to do right now, since this is a work in progress, is just concentrate on getting it finished. And in order to do so, go ahead and make sure you take a look at the Welcome to Week 5 announcement where I have all of the requirements for the process book. It's a list that looks something like this. And these are the requirements. So just make sure that you, you have all of those pages represented in your final process book. Uh, and we do have one final checkpoint coming up in, in uh, uh, week five critique before you submit your final process book. So, okay, let's go ahead and jump over to the clickable. So we start with the safe chat open page. That's great. Now, where do we go from here? We come in and we do the uh, login, the sign up page. Right. There's our sign up page. Okay, let's go ahead and Jump over here, sign in. Okay, right now I'm kind of looping in a circle. See what I'm saying? So we have sign up, sign in. Okay, so here's our start chat. So we pick somebody that we want to, to start a chat with. Now this is kind of where things get a little bit redundant because right now you're saying, okay, so here's my chat. I've started a chat with Brandon S. We see the chat page, we come over here, then we see the keyboard page, we return the, the message, right? And it's basically from there, it's so on and so forth. So right now, from this page right here, there's only one place to go, okay? It's back to the, uh, actually, that doesn't make sense. That should take you back to the home page. The logo should take you back to the home page. I would recommend that you have a, a universal navigation, a home page, and at least one a back button on every screen, just so the viewer the viewer can get out of a situation where they're they're caught in, like I am right now. Okay, so we start a chat, and right now, from start chat, I can go choose my chat. There's the chat. We start the chat. There's the keyboard for responding, and then we're just back to starting another chat instead of going back home. Okay, so that is your basic scenario, which is only linking together three or four pages, right? But you've got 34 pages in the, the app. So we come down here, and my question was, what are the 34 pages represented of? And again, this is where we get into some redundancy. So we have, here's our user sign-in page. Here's our start chat. So we choose the person we're going to chat with, start the chat. Uh, the sign up page, that's great. Uh, password. Okay, preferences. I would have liked to have seen this, uh, be able to use this page. I would have liked to have seen a task flow off of this page where you can share your location so that you could even meet people um, and show that task flow or even show your, navigate, your notifications task flow. Right now, the only task flow we're showing here is a simple chat exchange. Okay, so then we get in here, here's your start chat, there's the chat page, there's the return message page with the keyboard, and we have that for several different users. So this is very redundant. It's the same page, right? It's just all you've done is changed the name of the recipient. So that user task flow is, is I think, is redundant. So how many, we have four or five of these. You see what I'm saying? So th those pages could have wonderfully been connecting other uh, um, functions of the app, uh, like sharing, like meeting, the ability to meet friends through GPS navigation, uh, the ability to turn your no notifications on or off and, and what happens in, in that instance. So in other words, we tell her to turn our notifications on, how do the screens behave? Turn the notifications off, what do those screens look like? Um, And again, here's another series of screens that are just simply showing a white background. Okay, so again, we have start chat. Here's our chat start. The next page is going to be the keyboard. And then we're going to go to the next user keyboard. So you can see how redundant this is, specifically if it were somebody, uh, a stakeholder. Um, 
that would want to know more about this app. And that's my whole thing is I would like to know more about this app based on the click through right now. It's a, it's a very, very, very um, primitive. Uh, and I don't mean to sound discouraging at all. Please don't take my comments to be discouraging. I'm just trying to be honest. I think that um, it's a basically a primitive um, rendering of some of the capabilities. And then you're just, you've just gone into the chat capability, which leaves just a few other possibilities wide open. And I would have liked to have seen those possibilities explored so that we could see further functions of your app or further attributes associated with your app other than just the chat function. Okay. Hope that makes sense. If not, let me know and I'll be glad to uh, clarify. Again, the process book, awesome. Make sure that you, you, you go ahead and review those requirements for uh, for uh, the process book before you turn it into week five. And again, as I said, we do have one more checkpoint for uh, critique for the process book. All right. Great job. Thanks. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thanks, Brandon.